What up, guys? It's your boy, Lux Money, aka San, aka the saddest boy ever. No, nah, I'm just playing. Um, but uh, no, no. Today, today was a sad day. We lost, we lost a loved one today. That loved one was only with us for about three hours until until she had to go. We had to put her down. Um, let me give you a little backstory. So, I had to, uh, I had some job interviews today. I had one at 10.30 in the morning, and then I had one a couple hours after that, 12.30. <sighs> First one went pretty bad, to be honest. It was, it, was, it was terrible. Second one went better. Still could have done a lot better, but whatever. So I was on the highway going down I-55 South for my Chicago residence. You guys know where that's at. And, um, you know, I was in the left, the leftmost lane, the fast lane, you know, next to the medium and stuff. And upon stopping, because there was a build of cars, traffic was forming, I was just kind of like looking around, you know, what, what else do you do in the, just listen to music and just look, right? Just in my head. And I look to the left and I see this feral kitten, this black feral kitten. And I like, oh my, is, that, is he dead? Is it dead? And, I'm, I, and I like kind of like lean into the mirror, I'm just like, or the window, I'm just like, no, that shit's alive. I see, because I see his like, his yellow eyes. And I'm just like, yo, he does not, he looks like there's, he's alive. And I was just like, do I get out? And then by the time I was, you know, making that decision, the cars in front of me were already moving. So I was like, oh, and I, was, I hesitated. So I, I just kept moving. I was like, okay. And then for the next like mile or two, I was just thinking, I'm like, man, today's been such a shitty day. I was like, I gotta do something good. Maybe I gotta turn this around somehow. Do I go back, do I go back for this kitten or do I move on with my day knowing that I let this cat possibly die or whatever so i'm like you know what whatever let's let's do it get off at the next exit to turn around to hop back on the expressway and then i got off that expressway to come turn around to get back to where i was and here i am you know approaching the the exit that i kind of got off of but i was just i was just driving slow in the fast lane i'm just like you know trying to peep for this cat I'm driving i'm driving i'm like okay there's the cat there's the cat so i get out so i actually i put the car in park put my emergency lights on get out and i just put my hand up i'm like yo yeah, and I'm just, mind you, I'm still dressed up. I got my tie on and stuff still, looking good. I get out, I scoop the cat up, boom, hop in the car, and I drop him in the seat, drop passenger seat. And I'm looking at him, and he's just, he looks at me, he's all, she's all shocked. He's like, what the hell? I was like, oh my goodness, look at this. And, I, and I've, I've been wanting a cat for months now. And I'm like, all right, this is my time, you know, free cat, you know what's up. So I bring him home, show my sister. My sister's like, oh, we gotta get him checked out, blah, blah, blah. I tried to give him some water and some rice, but wasn't eating. So I was like, okay. So I started hitting up people on my, on my Snapchat. Like, oh, like people that I know that works in vet offices and that are vets themselves. And I only got one response back to a, an old friend where she, she had just actually gotten off her shift at the vet clinic. So she meets me up at Walmart and we go together to the clinic. We get, we get her checked out. It's a her. It is a her. And um, unfortunately, she was just too too messed up to to even like try to nurse back it would have been a lot it would have been costly to try to bring her back and even the chance of her surviving staying a healthy kitten was small so we had to put her down unfortunately we named her weber because the she was near the weber road exit of that highway and kind of general neutral because we didn't really know what she was at the time but i don't know i, I kind of knew she was a girl for some reason i just had a feeling but She's here in this in this pouch here. Um, I don't know what this, the rules are on YouTube. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this footage of me, but I guess I'm going to try. I'm going to see, but uh, I'm going to be switching back and forth from my phone to the, my camera because I'm, I'm going to give her a burial in my backyard because there's no way I was about to pay them fees, you know, to, to get her cremated and whatnot. So, all right, I got the whole kind of started here. Um, I decided to start filming after I got started it, so sorry that I missed the first half of me digging the hole, but I'm gonna try to get it a little deeper because they said the the chemicals that are that they put inside the cat. Oh my god, my dog's sniffing the pouch. Uh, um, anyway, they said the the pouch. They had, I have to bury her deep because if, um, it'll kill other animals that get to her corpse if if not deep enough. So Let's see how deep we can get this jam here. Set. Come 
not really, I'm not really, I'm, I'm terrible at digging holes. Or I said, I don't really dig, so. It's me just doing it. I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but. It's just digging right where I'm gonna be. All right. That's deep enough. Let me get her. Oh, here she is in this pouch. Um, just to, you know, show you guys. I don't know if this is okay or not, but we'll see. That's what it's her. This is her. Poor girl. Poor little thing. It's a better place now. It's my dog right there. Almost your sister, Luce. It's almost your little sister there. Alright, time to put her into the hole. Here she is. Let's put her in there. Oh, poor girl. Oh, what a mystery. Oh, I got this. It's so sad. And that is that. Moral of the story is. Actually, I don't, I don't even know what the moral is. I'm just sad. Now I was a cat owner for like three hours. And I had, had to plan the whole. I had to plan the future. I was like, man, she's gonna be met my. She's gonna be my dog. You know. Thought the name was really cool, but I don't even know if I can ever use that name again. Because, uh, that's cool. You know, whatever. It's just the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. R.I.P. Weber. She was cute. She was cute. Deuces, y'all.